Welcome, everybody, to the Streaming Our Stories, or SOS, podcast, where we use this platform to promote Sella Arts Fest vendors like Shop Cultura. We're going to get started. Why don't you just tell us your name and what part of Sella you rep, whether residence, birthplace of business, or community affinity. All right. Hey, everybody. Uh, this is My name is Giancarlo Jimenez. Um, I'm a visual artist and a self-published children's book author. Um, we represent, or I, I feel I'm a Affiliated with uh, Alivia Open Mic. Um, it's a community open mic in the Sela area, and they have a few vendors in there, and that's where we hold it down. For sure. So what kind of merchandise can people buy from you? Tell us about your art and your medium and different things that, that you sell and that you create. Um, as a visual artist, I sketch out a few, a bunch of designs. It's all mostly focused on Cultura and Dia de los Muertos and Mesoamerican inspired designs. Um, so like, for example, we got the picture right here, Dia de los Muertos Dodgers. Um, so we silk screen all our merchandise. All our merchandise is silk screened by, by me. Um, I heat press everything afterwards just to kind of give it that nice little polished finish. Uh, we also do vinyl stickers. Um, we just released an enamel pin that's going to be, uh, it's also, all that's available on our website. And awesome news, 2020 is the year we self-published our first children's book. Uh, Hymas Mighty Mustache. Yeah, so a uh, lot of love in that book. So that's Shop Cultura right there. T-shirts are silk screen by the artist, um, vinyl stickers designed by me, um, and then now enamel pins, and finally our children's book. For sure. So uh, tell me the story of Shop Cultura. Like, what was the inspiration behind it? How did it start? And uh, why do you do this? Why do you create? And who are you creating for? Everything, all all this uh, this entire platform of Shop Cultura is really just kind of like a call out or a shout out um, for everyone in the community of uh, different diverse backgrounds to just support their own cultura. That's why the name is Shop Cultura. It's not necessarily come to a shop and none of that. It's more of a shout out to everybody. You know, support your own cultura because one day if you don't support it, you know, it could just vanish, and that's just that's that's horrible. Um, so that aside from a children's book, which is what inspired all the artwork, all this artwork, all these designs, all these characters, they're all characters that are going to either come out in the children's book that we're working on. Cause we, we have a few more in the back burner. Um, and there's a lot of the characters in, um, the book we just finished publishing, uh, Hi, Miss My Mustache. And so as we would work on the process or as I was working on creating these different diverse characters from Mesoamerican background, Dia de los Muertos, uh, Charo outfits and all these different things, as I was illustrating them, I would put them out on social media to try to kind of build a following for the book. I wanted to make sure I had some type of foundation of a following so that way when I finally do pu publish the book, you know, people were aware of it because if, you know, there's no point if you publish a book and nobody knows that you're, you have it out there. And the whole book is all focused on cultura. Uh, most of it is uh, uh, Mesoamerican and, and Charro and Dia de los Muertos cultura. Um, but, you know, slowly we'll start branching out and try to encompass more of whatever cultura we can fit in there. And so as I was designing these characters, I would put it out on social media, on Instagram, and I started getting a very positive feedback and response from followers and others that were interested in this medium. And so um, I started getting requests to, you know, possibly put some of the artwork on, on T-shirts and other, um, uh, other clothing and things of that nature. So uh, I looked into trying to get some of the stuff silkscreen because silkscreen is very popular and things uh, and it's very accessible as well so uh, I started looking into that and started realizing if I went that route a lot of the shirts and a lot of the merchandise would be priced a little higher than I felt comfortable with so uh, I decided to just buy my own silkscreen equipment little by little you know I buy one piece of equipment and then made some funds there save a little bit of money buy another piece of equipment and slowly we just started building enough where we can do the whole process in in house um and so that's the whole silk screening portion of it and slowly we evolved into getting uh you know stickers and stuff like that and so we started putting our that stuff out there too and and, and all of it comes from the audience and a lot of the the support we get from everyone else if, if we see something that doesn't just that you know people are not feeling then obviously we're not going to go that direction we uh go a different route and start producing other things. But that's essentially how Shop Cultura got started. And 
why we did what we did. And, and a lot of it has to do with the uh, Hymus My Mustache was actually inspired by my son because I would read children's book to him every night. And that was our bonding time. That was where me and him really got a chance to build a relationship, you know. And so I would read different types of books. I would read um, Olivia. I would read um, Bernstein Bears. I would read uh, Dr. Seuss books. I would just anything that was that I could get and I wanted him to be exposed to. And he he's really smart. He's really smart. He's autistic. He's high functioning. And so he, he picked up pretty quickly that, you know, none of these books really represented our culture and our history. And so he would ask me, why, why can't we find books like that? And so um, I, I couldn't really give him a really good answer. So I just decided he knew I was an artist, too. And he would see me draw. And I figured, well, you know what? I'll just make my own children's book. And so he was really hyped about that. He'll come in and tell me different ideas. And, you know, he came up with the whole mighty mustache thing. And he would walk around saying, you know, if I had this mighty mustache, I would be able to. <laughs> save all kinds of stuff like it was this that was a super uh super power and stuff so i had to do that book and so yeah i finally got to publish that book but all the artwork is really just it derives from that and, and that's the platform for all of us dude that's such a dope story man like starting off with like representation and then using it just as a way to like kind of promote slash uh almost like focus group the art and then you know getting such a strong response mm -hmm. that it became uh, clothing and now you know the books finally published and you have more books in the pipeline mm -hmm. and uh, obviously like you're coming out with n new designs and you have a, a, like a lot of stock right now and uh, I'm pretty sure mm -hmm. I mean I, I, you're wearing one of your shirts the you know I, I have the same oh, one yeah. we were matching and stuff and I see the Dodgers in the back and uh, <laughs> yeah so just I, I love the story and I think that's kind of what this whole podcast is about mm -hmm. is really trying to get because I, I mean, I'm pretty sure people have passed by your booth or like, you know, have bought stuff from you and probably don't even know how deep or why, you know, there is a mighty mustache. They just think it looks cool. Right. So I think this is dope that like, yep. it, you know, your son, uh, you know, oh, him yeah. being, uh, you know, having a challenge, you know, in his life that he has to overcome and then, you know, using art and representation and storytelling to like create you know this superhero that he can relate to it's it's a beautiful thing man and uh, i'm glad you're doing it i'm looking forward to all the new stuff you have coming up uh we have a couple more minutes if you want to just tell people uh where they can find all your stuff your website and uh just sign off if i know you wanted to show some stuff to the camera if you want to do some of your little show and tell stuff and uh just to, to end out the oh, yeah. podcast man <laughs> Yeah, it, and uh, of course I'll yeah. I'll be putting pictures that you sent me as well as description and links to everything in the de in the description of this show. So uh, it'll be out there. But if you want to just take this time to sign off, man, it's been awesome talking to you. Yeah, sure, awesome. Uh, first of all, shout out to Sitali and Eric for just connecting all of us for me and you, Sneaky. So you know, shout out to you, Sneaky, for holding it down and doing you know putting in your energy and effort into putting this together shout out to Sela Art Festival for inviting me and having me a part of this um, and so Shop Cultura we have a website an online store shopcultura.com um, so you can find all the merchandise there the children's books there we got sticker packs on there we got all the t-shirts um, you can also get a hoodie in there you know we silk screen it ourselves so if you got a request you can even message us like hey I want you know, some a baseball team with one of your designs, you know, we could do it. Um, we got enamel pins too that we just find, uh, we just recently dropped. So that was awesome. Um, so yeah, like for example, we got the, the travel boom for you travel fans out there. Boom. <laughs> so I'll, I'll send uh, sneaky some pictures and stuff like that. So yeah, um, shopcultura.com is where you can find us online. And then our handle for Instagram is shop underscore cultura underscore. We got a Facebook. You can find us on Facebook as well, Shop Cultura at Facebook. And then we also have a YouTube channel that we're just uploading videos of like the, so, some of it's the process, some of it's kind of like promo for the book release and things like that. And so, yeah, you can find us on all those platforms. Thank you for tuning in to Streaming Our Stories, the SOS podcast for the Seller Arts Fest. And uh, we'll see you next time.